football game between the visiting uh, Los Gatos Wildcats and the home team Mountain View Spartans. I'm Paul Cunningham, joined by my compadre, the retired mailman, Terry Ward. And we're just about to get underway here, Mr. Ward. Should be a good game. Should be a good game. We have Mountain View really try to, uh, trying to fight for some respect here at a 1-4 and four record, but... Uh, it's a home game, and we're up at Foothill College this evening and a beautiful night, by the way. They're 1-1 one and one in league, and uh, Los Gatos 3-2 and two overall, 2-0 two and oh in league play. Who's our sponsor today? Yeah, KMBT Sports would like to thank our all-sports presenting sponsor, the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, part of the Sutter Health Network. Choose your PAMP doctor today. For me, that would be Dr. Stephanie Wong. That's it. To me, it would be Bart Lally. Dr. Bart Lally. Yes, okay. sir. All right. Mountain View uh, will receive, and deep to receive, are Ashley Avery, their quarterback. And it w we saw that a couple of weeks ago when we had the opportunity to do a game with them. Um, he is joined back there by Justin Bandy, Justice Bandy, excuse me. And last time, they'd, whenever the kick went anywhere other than Avery, they made sure Avery got the ball, whether it be on a release or on a release release on a reverse oh Ooh. they okay yeah if the, it goes they, to the they, other guy he's going to give it to they, him okay that was that was against los altos that may have changed by now but this the is kick, logan, logan chapman with the kick logan Ch well we won't have to worry about a return as uh, avery takes it about five yards deep in the end zone for an automatic touchback in high school football and we are underway as the spartans will come out the only tough thing about that is that Avery takes the kick five yards deep in the end zone and then has to run all the way out to the 25-yard line to get the play from his coach and then <laughs> jog back to the 10-yard line to get the play in. I just feel bad for those quarterbacks nowadays. They're I mean, just running back and forth to get the play. Ever since that changed and they made the, you know, all these coaches now make the quarterbacks run over to get the play. It's I like know. they just have, to, I mean... I just At the end of the night, yeah. yeah. They got to be tired. They got to be tired. To give Very up sure. the middle to the tailback, he fought for wow. some yardage and then got cast aside. That was Jake Butters. Uh, Bailey McNally in on the tap. Yeah, here's your replay. We got it. You can see he, he caught right up to him. Bailey McNally caught him real quick. He's one of the captains, a senior 5'10". Uh, he got uh, back to the Big line time. of scrimmage and then... Introduced it. and pushed back, as you pointed out, by Mr. McNally. A rather rude introduction to Mr. McNally to start the evening. Avery under center with the pitch to Butters. Butters looking for a hole, now trying to go back the other way, and he is swarmed over by a pack of Wildcats. Mainly Andrew uh, Masick, who's also a senior. You like to get these first running plays out of the way, get your pads settled, take well, a little whack, you know. Butters has gotten back to the line of scrimmage each time. Yep. But no further. And there's Mr. Avery coming back and forth. Yeah, getting his uh, jogging in. Okay. In the old days, they used to send like they would trade receivers. Receivers. Or trade I, I remember backs, the, yeah, I remember would, the wide receiver. They days, would buddy. run the play in, tell the quarterback, and then the quarterback would get a chance to relax a little bit. Avery will come out of the shotgun, and he's going to call a timeout as he didn't have the, I don't think he liked the formation that they had. So we've got a, an early break in the action, 10.31 to go here in the first quarter. There's no score. As a busy mom of three kids, I find it extremely convenient to access My Health Online. My Health Online's messaging service allows me to keep in close contact with our doctor. Being able to email the doctor with questions gave us assurance that they do take an interest in the patient's that's why we've been with PAN for more than 10 years and keep adding members, the newest members. Just coming back to the line of scrimmage after the timeout. Perfect timing by our producer director. Bobby Chastain, the best in Santa Clara County. Avery now, oh, oh. and a jump by the left guard. Uh, wrong count, and that will push it back five yards and make it a third down and 15 yards. Shot of our referee calling the illegal procedure authoritatively. Always look to the man in the white hat. He'll make the call. 
Third down to 15. I don't think the call is going to be much different than third and uh, 10, old buddy. Probably the same play. Yeah. And, uh, he's got two receivers to the right, one to the left. It's a short drop, throws it over the middle. Nice pass in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. That was number 10, Peter Snellgrove. Snellgrove unable to come up with it. It's a nice pass Richie, by yeah. Avery. Got on the inside track. The defender was behind him, just a little high and a little strong. If he comes down with it, he might have had the I first bet you he, I bet you he would have said, I could have had that. Oh, I'm sure he feels that way, too. Nico yeah. Mayoral is the punter for Mountain View. Two receivers are deep for Los Gatos. The punt is away. It's an end-over-end -end kick that sails back into Los Gatos territory and then up with it and off to the races is number two, and he's just going to go all the way as he zigs, he zags, and it's actually number 21. That is Corey Olivet, and he caught that at about the 43-yard line, his own 43-yard line, and scampered 57 yards. Here the you go. He had uh, the punt was real quick. It was a sort of a line drive, but you can see him weaving here and in and out here, and nobody off to the races. My goodness. Nobody laid a hand on him. Nobody so, touched him. Yeah. No, no one came near touching him. So the extra point attempt now for Los Cadets. This is Logan Chapman. Snap, spot, kick is up. The kick is uh, good. And with 10-14 to go in the first quarter, it is 7 to nothing, Los Cadets. That's our own moon. We only have one. We only have one, and man had walked on it. It's been there for a long time. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yep. 44 years ago, man walked on the moon for the mm -hmm. first time. And I remember. It just means I'm getting old. <laughs> you got that right now. Mountain View has their work cut out for them here. Well, and Logan Chapman, the kicker, put it into the end zone the last time. For those guys, let's see his consistency here. Kick is high, the kick is deep, and the kick is into the end zone, fielded perfectly by Ashley Avery, who will pass it off to the referee and then run off to get the play. Here's your Cattis. standings in the De Anza. Milpitas 2-0, Los Gatos at 2-0. There's Mountain View 1-1, one one. Saratoga Fremont 0-2. So a big game for Los Gatos. Yeah. They want to stay, you know, right there with the Milpitas Trojans. Milpitas, very good team this year. They don't want to lose the tr lose track of the Trojans. No, you always want to know where the Trojans are. Okay. Avery under center. The give to Butters, he's immediately met again. Butters is doing a great job getting back to the line of scrimmage, but that's about it. Well, that's because a guy named Bailey McNally does not want just, him to get past at the line yeah, of scrimmage. Yeah, it's just McNally your, is. And there's. Well, Avery heading over to get the play. The Spartans are looking for a play that will produce positive yardage. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to start working outside. Nothing inside so far. New, a whole new coaching staff here at Mountain View yes. this year. And they got a lot of, you know, they got their work cut out for them. It's tough yeah. for a new staff to come in and put a program together. So they're doing the best they can. And just you as go. you pointed out, they got to work into the outside, and they yeah. do. And brought down is Isaiah Jackson as he gets a good run out good close thing. to the first down. He picked up about nine. Yeah, got to start throwing a little something here. Better luck. Yeah, Matt Wilcox, you'll see him. He's a safety. He's going to come up and make the stop. And you know, if the safeties are making a stop, you're gaining some lot yards. Jackson got a good head of steam up coming around from his slot position. And a nice gain there by Isaiah Jackson. It's third down and one for Mountain View at their own 29 yard line. Avery under center. Goes for a longer count. Avery will take it himself. He's a good, strong runner. He'll get the first down. 
as he pushes out over the 30 yard line to the 31. It'll be first down and 10 for Mountain View. Better look. Here's your, he's just gonna go left side. Knows all he needs is a couple. And there he is right there, boom. He could have fallen down and gotten the first down. He, Avery is a uh, senior quarterback. Like Paul said, he's got very good speed. And he's a strong kid, good yeah. baseball player too. Okay. Multi-sport athlete. Avery now out of the shotgun. The give on the end around again, that time to number three, A.J. Johnson. A.J. Johnson picks up some positive yardage, gets out over the 35 to the 36 yard line. Pickup of about five, it'll be second down. Well, let's say second and six, pick up a four. 7.55 to go here in the opening quarter. Avery again from the shotgun. He's got Butters with him in the backfield. Motion to give again to Jackson. Jackson tries to cut it up, picks up a couple of yards. Isaiah Jackson trying to find that hole and exploit it and does for a couple of yards, but he's gonna be short of the first down. Ball will be spotted almost the 39 yard line. Yeah, it'll be third and four. Okay, one. here's your replay. Started on the outside, had to cut inside. There was nothing outside. Like you said, picked up a couple. Gonna have to, they're showing motion now. They got away from that, just the give and go type play. Two receivers out to the left and two to the right for Mountain View. Avery is under center. Looks to Cap to the outside. It's a fade pass to Cap. Cap has it at the 40, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line of Los Gatos. And he is a big target, Frank Cap. Here's your replay, Frank Cap. He's a junior, he's only a junior. You can see he got up there real high. Ball was placed perfectly and driven out of bounds. Nice pass play. Well, Avery did a great job of getting a two front cap. I mean, he had the height advantage and took full advantage of it. Now you have three receivers to the right, one to the left. Avery again looking downfield, throws over the middle for cap again, and it is intercepted by Los Gatos coming the other way. He is number Matt eight. Wil That's Wilcox. Matt Wilcox, and Wilcox is finally pushed out of bounds as he gets deep into Mountain View territory down to the 34 yard line. Let her look at it. Here's your replay. Let's see what Avery was doing. He had his, he had his target. Wow, cut right in front of, that was a nice play by Wilcox. Cut, I didn't see him and I'm sure Avery didn't either. There he was just trying to get the ball downfield. Real quick, just driven out of bounds by a couple of your linemen. Well, and then uh, Avery kind of locked in on Cap early. Yeah. And the safety could react to that. 6.37 to go in the first quarter. This is the first time we're actually seeing the Los Gatos offense. Drew Brown takes the snap. He's in trouble, but scrambles out of it. Now caught behind the line and brought down. A nice job by the Mountain View defense to harass Drew Brown and sack him for a loss. Yeah, Dylan Huffling came in on the uh, tackle. A little fake handoff. He had nobody right away and they were in, all in on him. Rolling left, still scrambling. He had nowhere to go and you could see uh, Huffling with a nice tackle. A loss of about six yards on the play. It'll be second down and 16 for Los Gatos. Drew Brown brings him up again. The lone running back is Joey Wood behind Drew Brown. They give on a wing back reverse. The give is to Corey Olivet. And Olivet gets back close to the original line of scrimmage. Uh, maybe actually picked up yeah. a yard on it. Here's your nine. replay. He stopped, boom. And he's a zig and a zag. And uh, driven out of bounds, but like Good, good pick, Jonathan. Yeah, uh, good job by Olivet. Yeah, Jonathan Martinez drove him out, but uh, Olivet with some good running room there. They're actually calling a third and 10. It is spotted, spotted, spotted back at the original line of scrimmage. Must be the full moon. I mean, these pronunciation problems are uh, yeah. getting a little discombobulated. Oh, good word. 
lot of hair growing on my hands. I'm not sure if it's because of the full moon. Or uh oh. The fake Brown under pressure again. Now takes it up the middle and they collapse on him and bring him down. Well short of the first down. Pickup of a couple. It'll be fourth down. Yeah. Fourth and about seven. A good play by the Spartans. They contained him. He had nowhere to go. Here's your replay. Well, no. There he is. You can see he had nowhere to go immediately. They're putting some good pressure yes, on him. Yes, they him. are. Brought him down well. That was Jake Butters in on the tackle. Came in and gave him a hit and knocked him to the ground. I think they're going for it, Amigo. They're going to, yeah, they're at the 20, uh, 30. Two yard line, it would be close to a 50 yard attempt. So they got a good kicker. Logan Chapman has been booting him into the uh, end zone. Well, on they, his got kickoffs. The, they got the seven nothing lead. Yeah, well, they do. You're yeah. right. He's setting up a screen play. It's wide open and it's taken there by Cody Marshall. Cody Marshall is tripped up, but not before he picks up the first down and gets down to about the 21 yard line where it'll be a first down for Los Gatos. Boy, watch it. I like to see the replay. That ball almost hit the ground. Watch this. He went, he, Whoa, yeah, boy, that I was saw that. He, he lifted it up and uh, then he did have some running room. That was a good call, good offensive call. A give around the end and then scooting back up the middle. That is Joey Wood, his first carry of the night. Picks up some good yardage. Here's your replay, nice fake. Joey Wood following his lead blocker. Does a great job. Yeah, cut to the left. Nice job by Joey Wood following yeah, that blocker. C.J. Hibbets, he was right on his tail. So second down and three for the Wildcats. I formation for the Cats. The give again. And Joey Wood on his way to the end zone. I think he's in. Stopped just short of the end zone. God, he got up. Uh, he got up in the end zone, but I guess knee was down. He Here's bounced your, yeah. in. Here's Joey, power runner, but both arms over the ball. There's some good power running. Yeah, his knee was down about the one, Paulie. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's inside the one. Yeah. So first and goal. Boy, Los Gatos going for it on that fourth down. Boy, gonna, that, and I'll tell you, that's, yep. that screen play, yeah, that was very close to looking like it had been dropped. Mm -hmm. The give to Joey Wood. Joey Wood dives towards the end zone, and he is short. It'll be second down and goal. Nice job again by the Mountain View defense to try to clamp things down there. It looked like Wood wanted to go outside. Boy, Joey Wood, 5 the defender was out there to force him back in. I'm sorry, Paul. Joey Wood, what a running back. 5'11", 220. He's tough to bring down. Indeed. And he's only a junior. He's going to get bigger. Full house backfield now. And the quarterback sneak. No sign yet, and it's third down. Mountain View refusing to give in here, and that this is a very even if Los Gatos were to score here, this has been a very impressive goal line stand by Mountain View mm -hmm. to keep a tough Los Gatos team out of the end zone for this length of time. The clock continues to run, 2:35 to go here in the first quarter. Gosh, I'm, uh, I'm, well, gonna well, go I'm not surprised it. at the first two calls, certainly, but they may get a little creative on this call. Let's see. Little motion, the give on the around and right into the end zone. Yeah. Goes the slot back. That was number one, 21, Corey Olivet into the end zone to make it a 13 to nothing Los Gatos lead. Here's your hand up, Olivet. Just picked and choose. It was too spread apart. Nothing Spartans could do on that one. Great job by Drew Brown. Perfect job on the snap to get all of it at full speed. And he just, when he saw that hole, he just cut right into the end zone. Yeah. Logan Chapman for the point after. Snap spot. Kick is up. The kick is good. And with 2.15 to go in the first quarter, it is 14 to nothing, Los Gatos. There's some of the local home team parents and spectators, friends. 
Logan Chapman to tee it up. They lead 14 to nothing. Spartans were moving it a little on a that little last bit. drive. Yes, the were. interception yes, is what were. it is, but uh, there was a little motion in the backfield. Ashley and Avery and Isaiah Jackson are deep to receive for Mountain View. Though that has been irrelevant so far in the kicks from Logan Chapman here tonight. And again into the end zone, he sends it. He's getting closer to not putting it yes. into the end zone. Yes, well, his leg's getting tired. <laughs> He's been kicking so much. That Who is our sponsor tonight? Yes, thanks to the Palo Alto Medical Foundation for their continued support of KMBT's high school sports coverage. Ashley Avery, you see him returning to the huddle there, making the call. High formation behind him, Jake Butters is the tailback. Motion, Avery with the give to Butters, nice hole for Butters. He finds it, slides right on through and gets out close to the 25 yard line. A pickup of five, it'll be second down and five for Mountain View. Here's your replay, you'll see the handoff to Butters. Made a good little cut there. And he got, got about four or five. Matt Wilcox in on the stop. Second down and five for Mountain View. Avery will bring him out. I formation. Cap comes in motion. They give to Butter, same play, going the other way. This time he is caught from behind and might have picked up a yard. Better look. look. Here's your handoff. He, boy, he was met uh, pretty well there. Matt Turbot in on the stop, came across. Third down and four for Mountain View. Just about a minute to go here in the opening quarter. Mountain View trying to answer back here. They need to get on the scoreboard themselves. Maybe a little confusion on that play. Uh, it looks yeah, like that he takes play. it himself and gets the first down and gets all the way out to the 40-yard line. It looked like he ran into a blocker and then just decided, I'm just getting out of here. Yeah, that was a busted play, but he picked up some good yards. Here's your replay. You, just no. no one there. I know. I. Boy, that was a nice little scamper. Yeah, I don't know if he did that on his own or not. He didn't run into anybody, but no. he, he faked the pitch and then took it himself. Nice play by Avery. Avery yes, it was. First down for Mountain View oh. from the shotgun. A give on the around to Jackson. Jackson with some moves and gets out close to midfield. So nice job by Isaiah Another Jackson. Another good call, yep. Once again, Matt Wilcox in on the tackle, your uh, senior safety. Ran right in front of him, got a nice handoff real quick. Yeah? Yeah. Isaiah with a good pickup. Mountain View had been moving the ball fairly well yeah. on their last drive, too. Had the unfortunate interception, but... Haven't thrown yet on this set of downs. Let's see. And the clock winds That's down. It. And the first quarter comes to a close. One of the books, Los Gatos 14, Mountain View nothing. I was in a fire department training and I had these shooting pains when they just shot right up into my temples. I went to Palo Alto Medical to follow up with my doctor. He found a heart murmur. It turned out to be an aortic aneurysm, which would have killed me had he not caught it. I don't really like going to the doctor, but I, I truly like going and seeing the guy. He's a great doctor and he saved my life. Mountain View breaks the huddle right from the sideline, comes out to the line of scrimmage. Ashley Avery will come out of the shotgun formation. Right at the 50. At midfield, trying to get into Los Gatos territory, knocking on the door. 
He has time. He throws the drift pattern again. It is caught but ruled out of bounds. The pass was intended for A.J. Johnson, but he was out of bounds. Boy, another nice throw. Lofted up real good. Hands just a little. Boy, that left right leg couldn't get in. Well, and it had to be good because he had to get it over Corey Olivet, who had position on the receiver. He did. That was a dangerous pass by Avery. Mountain View cheering section working on their colors. A little study, uh, study group, all the. And we're going to get another Too timeout. much time, man. With a third and one, you never want to get a too much time. That's where you got to call a timeout because you're at third and one. Now it's going to be third and six. So a tough break for Mountain View. Avery will come out of the shotgun, tight formation. He does have one receiver out to the right. Now some motion, a reverse, a nice little play that gets sniffed out by the Wildcats though. I think that was a, was that a double handoff. Like a double, it looked like it could have been a double handoff yeah. and nothing doing. The Wildcats did a good job staying home. Mm -hmm. And stopping that play as they tried to get it to Isaiah Here's your Jackson. Replay. Yeah, one to yes, yes, it was. That was a double handoff. Yeah, it went uh, Johnson to Jackson. And an excellent job by yeah. the. Well, but you called it the Wildcats stayed right home. Sniff that one out. Punt is away. It is going to sail out of bounds. And will be spotted at the 23-yard line, it looks like, where Los Gatos will set up first and 10. 11-13 to go here in the second quarter. Actually, they're going to put it at the 25. First and 10 for Los Gatos. Drew Brown under center. The give to Joey Wood. Joey Wood's got some room to run and he is way into the backfield. He's way into Mountain View territory and is brought down at the 34 yard, 33 yard line, 32 yard line. Just keep well, adding on. Your, yeah, here's your replay. Joey Wood just broke to the outside. Good block and there was nobody there. He was hustling. Finally got caught by uh, Ashley Avery, your quarterback. Ashley Avery doing everything for Mountain View. The fake to Wood. Drew Brown rolls out, throws out into the flat. It's caught out there by his wide receiver, number two, Logan Chapman. So Chapman kicks, he catches, he does it all too. Gets it to the 16 yard line. Here's a replay. Look. Rolling to his right. Nice throw off the left leg. Logan with the good, uh, nice catch, and uh, Isaiah Jackson. Just like you drew it up. I mean, he just rolled yeah. out to the right, and now the officials are going to converge to discuss. Let's see what he's going to do. They're going to change the clock. They want. They wanted it 10:41. I believe they're trying to get the seconds back to. Ten forty-one. They want 10:41 on the clock. Now they got it at 10:52, which I guess is close to 10:41. Well, he's saying let's get going. Yeah, close enough for government work. Mm hmm. Brown. Give to nice. Joey Wood. Nice run again. Big hole. And Joey Wood just gallops down to the five yard line where it'll be first and goal for Gatos. Yeah, here's your replay. Joey Wood just watch the watch his feet just up and raising those knees and grinding. Like I said, he's a 
good sized young man. 5'11, 220. So Los Gatos with a full house backfield. Now they'll shift around into position. Oh, I give to Joey Wood. There Great go. job. Good there penetration. Yeah, finally got a good uh, penetration from Austin A.J. Johnson and uh, stopped him cold. Hit him low, no game. The scoreboard is showing third down, but it's only second down. Second and goal at the five. Give to the outside. Olivet trying to get out there. Good heads towards the end zone and loses the handle on the ball, but it goes out of bounds. Mm -hmm. It'll stay with Gatos. And Los Gatos will have a third and goal. Another look. Here's your replay. Olivet streaking for the outside, but they just closed in on him. It's a nice uh, Brandon Pack was right there to close that down. Third and goal at the two yard line. They give up the middle, nothing doing. A nice stop again by Mountain View. The give on that play was to number, I did not see the number. What's that for the for runner? For Los Gatos, the runner for Los Gatos. We'll take a look at it, we'll get it here. Yeah, I thought it was Logan Ch No, it wasn't. No. I'm sorry, 45, buddy. 45, it was. that is Keegan Kreutzer. Keegan Kreutzer. Boy, you're not gonna get anything up the middle against the Spartans down They're here in this, job. in this red lone. zone area, yeah. yeah. Kreutzer the lone running back, all of out of the way around. They fake to Olivet, Drew Brown rolls out. Looks for his big receiver on the outside, doesn't have it, throws at the last second into the end zone for the touchdown, man. That's a tough break for the Spartans. They had played good defense on that play, but Cody Marshall at the last minute broke open and yeah, he Brown found him. He got position on Isaiah Jackson. Jackson had him covered initially, but now there's time. All this is time, and uh, he broke forward, running toward the ball like you should, wide receiver yeah. should do, and... Uh, Trying to help his quarterback out. Yeah, and uh, Cody Marshall with the touchdown catch. Los Gatos finding a way to do it in the red zone here. Logan Chapman for the extra point. Snap, spot, kick is up. And uh, good, and with eight minutes and eight seconds to go here in the first half, it's 21 to nothing, Los Gatos. Isaiah Jackson and Ashley Avery, deep for the kick. But Logan Chapman, at least when kicking in the other direction, put it into the end zone every time. We'll see how he does kicking well, this way. Well, there is no hint of a breeze against or for him, so I suspect it'll be at least. So it's calm seas tonight. Calm seas, absolutely. Back in your Navy days, those were good nights when it was a calm sea. Calm sea. Big moon. High kick. I think it may be oh. into the end zone. For the touchback and bringing it out to the 20 will be the officials. First down for Mountain View. Must be special teams coach because Logan goes over and uh, they do the old high five, low five. Avery under center. Three step drop throws out to the nice flat play. for his running back and a nice play, nice catch nice play. out there by Chris Reddy. And Reddy picks up the first down. Yeah. Berg, Bergenkamp drove him out. Nice little play, good first down play. Nice initial yards. Had almost like a little stumble, but. Uh, yeah. I think Reddy turned around and was shocked to see that much open space in front of him. I don't. 
A good pickup. That was a great pickup, yeah, nice play. As you pointed out, nice play on first down. Avery again from the shotgun, throws out over the middle, tipped, and it'll drop incomplete, and intended for cap. Pass intended for cap, incomplete. Second down and 10. Let her look. Watch Avery's a very strong arm. Just boom, right there, on the line. Jake Butters, a lone running back to give to Butters. Butters carries a tackler with him, gets out over the 35-yard line to the 36. Pick up about four. It'll be third down and six. Dane Husby, senior, 205-62, in on the stop. Whistles whistle, blow. whistle, whistle, whistle. Flags fly. It is offsides against Los Gatos, so a break for the Spartans. Pick up of five will get them out to the 41 yard line, and it'll become a third down and two. Avery from the shotgun. The fake to Butters in the back. Oh, nice play on the screen play to Butters. Butters is going to push forward and get very close to that first down. I think he has it with the mark he's getting now. He's out over the 42. I, th I think they may have to measure. Watch it. Fake the little handoff, but Butters still stayed right in the backfield, and then he flicked it to Butters. Avery, nice little play. Butter's a nice little play. They're Did they give it, it to him? Well, they're going to they're gonna have to measure. I think it's a first down. And, and if it's not, then I'm, I'm going to invoke the bad spot call because I, I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm not they sure they spotted it. Though I can't tell because there's so many players in front of front of it we can't really see where the ball is but it sure it sure seemed that he had gotten the first down by the effort he put in got to come all the way across the field on this one yep First down by He's half a football. Dr. Beers. First down for Mountain View. It'll be at the 43 yard line. Six to go in the half. Mountain View quickly up to the line of scrimmage, but they've got to wait until the chain gang is back in place. And they are. Avery. In trouble. Throws out into the flat and out yeah. of the hands of his receiver. It was well, he had to get rid of that one. Yeah, Peter Snellgrove it was intended it was for. Intended for incomplete. Looked like it was almost catchable. Yeah, for a quick pass. Yeah. You can see he, he had to duck. Oh, yeah. Well, he just, a well, it sailed on him. No, it he, sailed on him. Yep. That's about the third pass. Snowgrove got a Right to the receiver, but just a little yeah, high. A little high. He's putting some oomph on it. Oh, yeah, no. He's He's got a good arm. He does have it. He does. I got no problem. Got I got no problem. Arm. Yep. Keep throwing that way, buddy. Avery. Checks off and then throws underneath. He looked at Butters and then checked off and went for A.J. Johnson. And Austin Johnson 
Gets out to the 45 yard line, pickup of a couple of yards. Another look. Yeah, here's your replay. He's had his eye on him the whole time. There's a little flick, a little stumble. He wasn't going to get much. Cody Marshall was right there. Third and a long seven. Two receivers left, two receivers right. Avery has it, Avery in trouble, has to get rid of it in a hurry, throws down field, has a man, but incomplete. Now, nah, good position. Pass was intended for Austin Johnson. He was looking for a possible interference call, but the, oh, well, there is a late flag, but this one is back That's towards down, the line yeah, of scrimmage. Down by the line. That could be holding, we'll mm -hmm. see what the call is. Here's your replay, watch the position. Uh, Johnson was streaking down the right-hand side, but Ooh, uh, eight, did look a little well, bit like face guarding. Yeah, but 83 was right there. But an illegal Bird block, yeah. an illegal block has been called against Mountain View, which may be declined, and it is. It'll bring up fourth down. So a fourth down and seven. I would anticipate Mountain View will punt it away here. Six minutes to go. Avery is still out there. I do not think so. so. They're going to go for it. Figuring 559. Well, they're down 21. They're going to try to get back into this ball game right now. Big play. Uh, yeah. As well as Gattis can score in a hurry. Maybe they'll do the... No. Avery with the fake. Avery gives to Butters. Butters with some room to run. He's got the first down. <laughs> nice play as nice play. really followed his blocking well and then picked up some own some yardage on his own with some nifty moves in there against the Los Gatos Boy, defense. here's your replay. Here's your fading back. Just the butters right in the left flat. And he got some good yards, good little sprinter. McNally in on the stop again, but uh, not until they got the first down. That was a gutsy call. That was, that was a now nice. Now let's have the Spartans put in. They got plenty of time. Nice play by the Spartans. Avery all by himself in the backfield. Sets up in trouble and he is just swarmed over right at midfield. A loss of about seven yards on the play. Yeah, Jack Tittle, the main culprit there on the tackle. Here's Avery about to receive the snap. Caught it, a couple steps back, trying to get into the pocket, but that pocket collapsed rapidly yeah he tried to give his receiver some time to get open and uh, that was time he did not have as that pass rush has been getting in there all night Avery's yes, been doing have. a good job getting rid of the ball quickly but on that play he had to hold it an extra beat and it cost him second and 17 flags fly uh. Procedure uh, against, yeah, the against the Spartans. Against Spartans, you cannot have any type of uh, penalties like this. It's going to kill you. You're moving pretty well. Yeah. 451 left. Second down and 22. Avery in trouble, now buys himself some time, throws down field and tips, oh, intended for Frank Cap, the very dangerous pass. Yeah, Cody, Cody, uh, Cody Marshall had his hands up on it, there was other, Two here's your replay. For it, yeah. Yeah. But Avery, like, no time at all. I thought he was just gonna keep it and run, but there's a nice, tried to flick it up. Cap was there, but so were three Wildcats. <laughs> Avery being gutsy on that one. Third down and a bunch. Set up the screen, they throw over the middle and he just overthrows his receiver. It was intended for Peter Snellgrove. Brings up a fourth down and now I think they'll punt it away. Yeah. These uh, 
two Wildcats defensive ends are just flying in at him. They're getting no uh, tackle blocking at all on that offensive line. Not Here's a your, yeah. Well, that's the middle linebacker coming in on that McNally, but he yeah. just flicked that out there. Yeah, they didn't pick up that blitz at all. No. Gosh, Los Gatos seeing that now. They could send any one of those linebackers in to disrupt the... Nico Mayoral to punt it away. Mayoral tries to get some room, wants to kick it. He just clearly they're trying not to let Los Gatos return the ball. As they've given up one uh, punt return for a touchdown, and they don't want to give up another. That one goes out of bounds right around the 22-yard line, 23-yard line. So it'll be first and 10. Fourth. Who's your sponsor for tonight's game? KMBT thanks our sponsors, the Palo Alto, Palo Alto Medical Foundation, for bringing you this season of high school sports coverage. Choose your PAMP doctor today. Drew Brown back under center. The give to Joey Wood, and Joey Wood has swarmed over, carries some tacklers with him. Might have actually picked up a yard on the play. He was initially met in the backfield, backfield but then yeah. able to carry some tacklers with him and pick up a couple. Another look. There is Joey. He just never got any going, but there he is carrying. <laughs> he carried it back to the line of scrimmage. Did. Yeah, three men. Dylan Huffman was one of the three, but... Uh, that play just never formed. Second down and eight. Quick throw over the middle, complete. For the first down for Los Gatos. Had one complete to Logan Chapman. Just a quick slant over the middle and Chapman picked up good yardage. Here's your replay. Snap under center, fake hand. Well, that was the, that was oh, that the, was the, the other previous point, play yeah. when Joey Wood felt like carrying half the team. <laughs> and it did so successfully. Yeah. To give on the end around and a pickup of some positive yardage close to the first down. That is Nick Achapinti. Ran into his own blocker. He had a good head of steam going up there. Gets out to midfield, a pickup of nine. It'll be second down and one for Los Gatos. Three and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Still plenty of time. Still plenty of time. Second and one, The give to Wood. Wood just. My goodness. Yeah, marching downfield. It's taking multiple Spartans to bring him down. Look you should at replay why. He was hit a couple times, stopped once. There he stopped, boom, broke right out of the hands. There's 56 holding on yeah. for dear life. Saying, I'm gonna get this Drew Brown guy. looking very yeah. deep into the end zone, and the pass is ruled incomplete out of bounds, but that, that was awfully close. It was intended for Logan Chapman, and it looked like he did some footwork down there almost to get it in bounds, but apparently not. Another look. Here's your replay. Rolling to his left. There's your throw. And you know, he, he no. caught it, he, but he was caught it, flying he, as he was, yeah. All right. But he was out of bounds out when of he bounds. came down. All Never right. got the feet in. The whole body Good flew call. out of bounds. Good call by the officials. Drew Brown under center. Drops back, sets up the screen play. It is complete to Logan Chapman. Or excuse me, that's Oliphant. And into the end zone goes Olivet. Corey Olivet takes that flanker screen and just takes it down the field and into the end zone for the touchdown. Boy, what a nice call. Look how he just flicked it out there. He broke the other way. The swarm of the Spartans were going left, and he just went right. Once he got past those linebackers, he was flying. Spartans, you have several Spartans diving for the runner, but they don't ever wrap their arms, and it's tough to bring a guy down. Got to wrap.
wrap those arms around the legs and just hang on and bring them down. Now here comes the leg. Logan Chapman, he's been perfect tonight in everything he's kicked. Into the darkness. Up and good. 2.54 to go in the half. It is 28 to nothing, Los Gatos. Ashley Avery and Isaiah Jackson deep to receive. We've said that several times tonight. <laughs> yes. But Logan Chapman has not allowed us to call a single Running. kickoff return. I know. And Ave, like, Ave, shoot. Ashley Avery is very, very quick. He's back there. He is. Hopefully He's not he going to get a chance. Yet, right? Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to hope for <laughs> fatigue on the number two, as you see there. Maybe the leg will give out. Maybe he'll get cramps <laughs> or he <laughs> won't have enough potassium. And yeah, yeah. Maybe he'll get it just up way too high, and it'll drop too down at maybe the, yeah. And then it'll drop down on the three-yard line, and he'll there be able to go. go. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's a oh, squib. It's, it's going to take a hop. It's going to take a hop into the end zone. In the end zone. <laughs> Couldn't even bounce out of bounds. And now poor Ashley Avery has to go over to the track to get that ball. Because it went out of bounds. Here he comes running all the way across. All the way back to the coach to get the play. There's your Mountain View bench. You gotta stay positive here. You just gotta keep fighting on this, something well, like this. Well, it's, you know, on offense, they have moved the ball fairly well. They've just had a tendency to shoot themselves they've used in the foot a, a couple of times. They've used an assortment of plays. You, you, yeah, they, no, they've I, been showing movement. A like couple nice doing. screens. Yeah, I like what they're doing offensively. They just can't put a complete series together no, to bring it all the way down the field. They've been shooting themselves in the foot a couple of times. The draw play draw. to Butters. Butters will maybe four, maybe? pick yeah. up a few. It looks like maybe three. It'll three, be second okay. and seven. Cody Marshall in on the tackle, the 6'3 senior linebacker. Clock continues to run. Here's your replay. Nice little draw. Good blocking up front. Your secondary receiver or secondary defensive man got him. He got past that first line. Clock continues to run, 2.20 to go in the half. Avery from the shotgun. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Little bit of time, throws downfield, has a man, and just overthrows Austin Johnson, his intended receiver. Had him around midfield. Good defense by the Wildcats. Let her look. Here's your replay. At least he had some time. He did. That was a, he had some time, so he was able to, but just overthrew the receiver. He did take a little bit of a hit after he released the ball, but, you know, he knows those guys are coming. He's showing some great courage just yeah. hang, hanging yeah. in there in the pocket, knowing that they pretty much got their ears pinned back and are coming after him. Third down and eight. Give to Butters and nothing doing. Butters has dropped for a loss. Met in the backfield and dropped in the backfield. Mr. McNally, once again. Another look. There's your hand up. Boom. Good thing he held on to the ball, my goodness. And with he that. Got and Jake Butters, senior. It's a fourth and ten, and Los Gatos yeah. will take a timeout as they're going to get the ball back with a minute 58 to go in the half. They lead 28 to nothing. So Shot of some of the open hill area of the stadium. Your your TV screen has 158, which is correct. The clock on the stadium here has 20 minutes. I guess they want to start the third quarter. That's what we're waiting for yeah. right now. The official is trying to. Uh, Remember how much time was left in the half. It's a minute 58, we know, because we keep track of these things. Yeah, they got two minutes up there. Maybe that's what they're going to go Close with. enough. Okay, here we go. Whistles. Nico Mayoral punt. It looks like it might have been partially blocked. That was... 
Or right. it was just a bad punt. It was a bad punt. It was coming right at us. It was. It went right out of bounds, and Los Gatos will have excellent field position. But if there's one glaring weakness in Mountain View's game, it's their special teams. Their special teams, their special teams especially on re or, uh, defensively. So Nika Mayoral, that might not have been a bad punt, buddy. Let's see if they go for it real quickly. I think they will. Got plenty of time. But they got a couple of seconds extra of, uh, from the officials. The fake. Just what I said. Drew Brown looking over the middle, wide open. Wide open. His intended receiver and into Logan. the end zone goes Logan Chapman for a 34 to nothing lead here in the first half. Boy, uh, Angel Merced, I don't know, I think he might have lost his man. There's your receiver. You can see there is nobody by. No one even close. On hell said, lost his man. Okay, it's all right. So Chapman on for another extra point. Kick is up, kick is good. This one hurt with just two minutes left, buddy. Yeah. Shouldn't have given this one up. 152 to go here in the first half. 35 to nothing, Los Gatos. Shot of the field here tonight that the Wildcats are thoroughly enjoying their evening, mm -hmm. at least up to this point. The Spartans, on the other hand, not so much. No, they've got work cut out for them. New coach, new system. Los Gatos, player-wise, has got a lot more players. Well, and historically, the Wildcats have just yeah. been a solid program. Yeah. Surprised there aren't more people here for Los Gatos. A very rather Spartan crowd for them. Across the way. But I'm pumped. Let's see what Logan can do. It's high end over end that uh, Avery's able to take it to one and he'll bring it on out. Avery will keep it himself winding through traffic and he'll be brought down at the 15 yard line. Better look. Here's replay. Logan finally does not kick it in the end zone. Close. Avery's able to. Had a little scamper, had a little room there, but they closed in on him fast. Wildcats right on him. Minute 47 seconds to go here in the half. Avery with a full house backfield. First time we've seen this formation tonight to give to Butters. Butters fights for some yardage. Gets out close to the 20 yard line, a pickup of about five yards. It'll be second down and five. Avery under center, same formation, now some motion. Give to Butters again. Oh, Butters with a big hole. Butters has the first down and more as he gets out over the 25, out to the 28-yard line. It'll be first down Mountain View. Let her look. Yeah, here's Butters right down the pipe, right over right over the center. Had nice, nice running room. Nice pickup by Jake Butters. Under a minute to go now in the first half. Fake Avery with some protection now looks to run. He's going to have to scramble quickly. He does. He gets around the corner and picks up some good yardage for Mountain View. And Avery showing that speed. He gave a little burst there at the end that got him around the end, and he picked up about six yards. You see, I think he. 
wanted to throw. There was just nobody there, so he took it himself. He's got it tucked in that left arm. You can see now. Out of bounds. Actually, a pickup of about seven. We'll say it's second down and three yards to go. He's going to have to call a timeout. Mountain yeah. View will take a timeout as they didn't want to get penalized while they're on the hunt. 41 seconds to go in the half. Break in the action. 35 to nothing, Wildcats. Ever since we moved to the United States, Palo Alto Medical Foundation has been taking care of our health. We love our doctor. She is always ready to listen to us and is very professional and answers all our questions and is very reassuring. SAMP has been there not just for my own family, but for the whole community, whether they're seeing patients or providing doctors for our free medical clinic. I think that might be my favorite spot from Palo Alto Medical Foundation because it, at the end of that spot, it's almost like she breaks into telepathy. I can still hear her talking, yes. but her lips aren't moving. Phenomenal. It's it's scary. It's yes. <laughs> Second down. Three. The give to Jackson. Jackson tries to get to the outside, but he's met in the backfield, and we drop back at the 35-yard line. Lost him about a yard on the play. It'll be third and four. Here's your handoff, and. Yeah, you can see where he's met head on by uh, Cody Marshall, a 210 senior. 15 seconds to go in the half. This could be the last play of the first half. Avery from the shotgun. Throw the bomb. No, he's going <laughs> to take it himself. Oh, well, he's in he trouble. Have... He's scrambling. He's scram oh, he oh, breaks wow. free. No. Now, uh, now he'll go down knowing it's halftime and keeping the Wildcats. <laughs> from getting the ball back, but we are at the half, 35 to nothing, Los Gatos. KMVT 15 Silicon Valley Media is a nonprofit community media and television station that has been serving the community since 1982. Each year, KMVT trains hundreds of adults and youth in video production, claymation, field production, and digital literacy. In 2012, we launched a $500,000 Go Digital Capital campaign to begin upgrading our analog equipment to digital. This would allow us to stay current with the technologies that folks utilize in their everyday lives. We want to thank the City of Los Altos, Cupertino, and our volunteers for supporting our digital campaign. In doing so, last year we raised over $125,000, which allowed us to begin crucial upgrades to our studio. Our first upgrades began with a brand new control room and a digital switcher. The digital switcher allows us to provide green screen opportunities, live interactive productions utilizing Google Hangouts and Skype, and to stream live to YouTube and Ustream. The monies raised also allowed us to put the same switcher into our production truck that allows us to provide full coverage of local sports with a three camera replay system. Our other large investment was a full digital playback system. The system allows producers to submit digital files from home. We can run the channel for a full 24 hours. We also are streaming on peg.tv through Roku. This offers our producers a much wider distribution platform to a much larger audience. All of this has been made possible in the last year with your donations. As our campaign continues, we need to upgrade the rest of our equipment to high definition. The next purchases will be cameras, lights, and audio gear. Please support KMBT 15 in raising its next round of funding to complete its Go Digital Capital campaign. Thank you again to our supporters for understanding the importance of these upgrades. By investing in KMBT 15, you are enabling us to provide low-cost training, new technologies, and a community voice. Again, we thank you for your support. Donate today. Second and a half, just about to get underway. Mountain View kicking off for the first time tonight. Their kicker, number 16, Esteban Rivera. Now, let's see if we get it. We know we're going to get a run back here. Let's hope that 
Chance of a run back. Chance of a run back. See if they can got a place. Oh, they can there squib they it to, to get that way. They know they won't get it. You know, they're playing smart, though. They know they're yeah, a little bit they, weak. Yeah, but they gave a field defense. position. Look at this field position, they did. bud. They did, but the first time they kicked the ball and went for a touchdown. And so they're mitigating damages. Another look. Actually, heck, if that had if that it kicked the other way, player. yeah, they could have maybe gotten the ball. I like the idea. Okay, now let's see the. Uh, Los Gatos offense. Let's, yeah, let's see, see what Mountain View can put up here. Let's see how they're going to go. They're still going with Drew Brown. Actually, that's Nick Bowden, a quarterback. That's right. That I'm is sorry. a different. No, no, I'm sorry. It, it is Drew, Drew Brown. My mistake. You are absolutely correct. The give is to Nick Ochapinti. Is that a fumble? He may have given it up and given it yeah, back to did. the Spartans, and he did. And he's Nick Ochapinti. He's getting up slowly. He is. He's not getting up at all. We got, okay, we got a man down here. Here's your initial handoff. He broke one tackle. Headed back up the center of the field. Got hit a couple of times. Ball popped right out of his yeah, hand. Yeah, just he popped, popped out of popped him. Popped right man. out. And he's They're working on Ochopini. Not yeah. sure. Got the wind knocked on me. He had a player on yeah. each side of him. Yeah, initially I thought he was... Just holding his back or his tongue or something, but now they're working on his ankle. Okay. Here's a different camera angle. You can see he broke the one tackle by doing high huffling. No, just, I don't see. Well, the guy fell right on top of him. I think there was one man. No, it looks like this is. Yeah, he's up ankle. and he's limping a little bit, but he's. Right yeah. ankle. This is his right ankle. Knee. All right. Yep. Well, we hope he's okay. Yeah. So it'll be Mountain View ball. They have it at their own 44 yard line. First down. <laughs> Too many men on the field at the moment for Mountain View. They've done that a couple of times yes, tonight, they going have. out with 12 and yes, they have. going down to 11. Avery with it, looks to his right, throws to his right, it's complete. And the ball is on the turf. They're gonna rule it an incomplete, incomplete pass. pass. As it was bobbled, the pass was intended. Peter Snellgrove. Here's your replay, let's see how long he held on to it, if he did. It's up high, I th mm, boy, well, that's close. He was bringing it down into his he was. gut and uh, that hit. That's it was good jarred ball. loose. Good yeah. defense by Los Gatos to jar it loose. Almost got the fumble out of it. It'll be second down and 10 for Mountain View. Avery again out of the shotgun. In trouble, has room to run. Gets out over midfield and into Wildcat territory. He's short of the first down, but it's a good gain, a pickup of about six, it looks like. Another look. Here's your replay. Looking right, just didn't have the time once again. There's McNally, your linebacker, coming in almost every time now. Avery with good speed. Third down and four. Shotgun again. Avery, quick shot, complete for the first down. That's to A.J. Johnson. And Johnson has the first down at the 41 yard line of Los Gatos. Another look. Just one, two, three steps and a quick release. Johnson was able to get off of his man. Mountain View almost going no huddle here as they quickly come up to the line of scrimmage. Avery with it again, has some time this time, throws deep downfield as a man, and oh, that does look like, it looked like he was grabbed. Johnson looking back for the flag. No flag is forthcoming, but the, it looked like Johnson changed speed. We'll take a look at it here. Oh boy, he had an arm on him. It was close. Second down and 10. Avery again from the shotgun. In trouble. Pushes up through the middle, looks for a block. 
And good yardage again by Avery. Gosh, if that's what he's gonna have to do, he's taking the pack on his shoulders here. Can't, look. Yeah, if he can't throw it, they're charging. They're leaving it open in the middle, so he's gonna run. We know he's got good speed and is a strong runner. He's just gonna run out of bounds and just. Third down and two, they go no huddle again. He gets the call from the coach, but then he the, the players go right to the line of scrimmage. Oh, and that might have been a little miscommunication. It was intended yeah. for cap, and he may have turned out, and maybe was expecting him to turn in. That was almost a big turnover. Yes. Fourth down, Mountain View will go for it here in this situation. Let her look. Here's your replay on the last play. You can see Avery just real quick. Cap, you see, turned to his right. Good thing uh, Corey Alabet uh, was not able to see hang on Avery to that. Avery runs this one as he's got time. He throws towards the end zone as his man caught by Johnson. And Johnson is brought down at the one yard line. Oh, I, thought it, I thought he was in, but yeah. they're going to say he was down at the one. Never look. He had him beat. He had that speed. Then he was. All right. He was, I don't think he did make it in. Right. Mountain View will huddle up now. Mountain View might actually get to light up the scoreboard here as their number has been dark. They don't even put a zero on the scoreboard for him. Avery under center. See if he takes it himself. He does. And into the end zone he goes for the touchdown. That's the way you come out after the timeout, after your halftime. Six on the board for Mountain View. Let me look. Here's your replay. Avery taking it himself. Just fouled his uh, center and uh, guard. You get in there. Esteban Rivera. Mountain View lines up everyone on the left and will come into formation as the official blows it in. Unless they try to go for two here. They haven't moved yet, now they do. Snap, spot, kick is up. The kick is good. And with 8.14 to go in the third quarter, it's 35 to seven, Los Gatos. we are underneath everything we do we are all people connected interdependent united and when we reach out a hand to one we can influence the condition of all that's what it means to live united Eight fourteen to go here in the third quarter mountain view has gotten themselves onto the scoreboard Came out after the halftime, throwing the ball. Sort of almost a no huddle uh, shotgun formation. Yeah, they quickly moved their way downfield. Moved it down. I think they might have surprised the Wildcats a little here. They certainly surprised us. They put a good drive together. Esteban Rivera out to kick off. Rivera will pooch kick it. Will be taken. Oh boy. And brought down by gravity. The ball's fumbled. Almost back to Mountain View. That would have been a Ackerman fell huge on it. turnover. That was Matt Wilcox on the return. We'll take another look yeah, at you it. You can see he's having a little humble and bumble in there, but he picked it up. And now he's off to the races. Matt Wilcox breaking it out to the outside. Plenty of room. Now he just stumbles. <laughs> then gravity does its job and he loses the ball. Yeah. The only guy between him was a kicker, Rivera. Drew Brown under center. The give up the middle to Joey Wood. Joey Wood. 
Picks up some positive yardage, gets inside the 30 down to the 28 yard line. We'll say the 29, another look. Here's your look, first play. Second half, Joey Wood, right? Cutting back in. Strong young man. Pick up of six, second down and four for Brandon, Los Gatos. Yeah, Brandon Pack was in on the tackle for the Spartans. The give to the outside. Cut it back inside. Brent on his way. Dives for the end zone pylon, but he's going to come up short right around the one yard line. That was off Eve Brender. Eve Brender. This is the first time we've called this young man's number. You can see he tucked it in there. Nice it, move. Yeah, nice move. Cut it inside. He had plenty of running room. And he dove for that it. That was just, close. Yeah, it was real close. He knocked I, the pylon over yeah, with the ball. I, I might have given it to him, but he might have, he probably did go down right before the, the, uh, the end zone. So first and goal for the Wildcats. Flag flies and it's like it might be There's against procedure. Those cats. the Cats. Good eye, part of my compadre, Terry Ward. So it'll be first and goal at the six yard line. Cheerleaders continue to cheer for yes, them. They they're are. doing, they're their, doing their, job. their job. Give to Joey Wood. Joey Wood just into the end zone and never leaves his feet. Gosh, how just starting the Mountain View comes down, Joey scores, Wood. and Los Gatos five plays, boom. Yeah. Another look. Yeah, I know it. Here's Joey Wood. As you can see, he is just a load. He is tucked inside. Rolls his way in. This reminds me of that. What was that Stanford running back that was so good? I went to Minnesota. Oh, man. That's Joey Wood. Nice looking running back. Extra point attempt. Snap, spot. Kick is up. Kick is good. 544 to go in the third quarter. It is. 42 to 7, Wildcats. Some of the Wildcat fans on the other side are trying to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> so, Los Gatos Ball, they're at the Mountain View 32 yard line. Third and a long one. Give up the middle, and it's close. Boy. The give was to Salcedo. They're calling it fourth down. Another yeah. look. There's your handoff, little stutter step. But boy, he was met head on. Nice tackle. Fourth and one. Wildcats will go for it. Yeah, you could see he was, uh, Salcedo was the man carrying the ball. He, he got popped. Just something limping off the, uh, the sidelines. Give to the outside. That's a V Brender, and Brender will pick up the first down. He'll get down close to the 26-yard line where it'll be first down for the Wildcats. Another look at it. Here's your replay. Brender getting to the outside. Cut it up in. Tucked it up. Nice tackle by uh, Brandon Pack again. We're calling his number a lot. He's been coming up from, uh, well, he's a linebacker. The give to number 25, that's Quinn, Quinn Spiteri. And Spateri picks up positive yardage for the Wildcats, gets inside the 20-yard line. 
Down to about the 18-yard line. He should look. replay. Well, Quinn's first time we called his number. He broke it to the outside. Good interior block and stopping those Spartans from getting to the outside. They're curling that block and uh, not letting them get outside. That's good interior line play by the Wildcats. Give to Spateri again. Pretty good hole. He gets close to the first down. Down to about the 16-yard line. Another look. Yeah, you can see he's tucking, he's holding it. Good and tackle right there, yeah. He got it. Mikhail, I'm oh, sorry. One of the captains, uh, Jake Butters, in on the tackle. Gave him a good pop. Give on the nothing and around, doing. nothing doing nothing there. Doing. Avery in on the stop. They gave that to Bender, yeah. yeah. There it is. He's trying to. You can see Avery's right in on it. Yeah, still nice. playing hard. Still, yeah. Ashley Avery good playing, yeah. playing tough. Yeah, speaking of good pops, Jim, we saw Jimmy Freeman last night again. Had a good time. Mm -hmm. Always there, working hard. Ooh, tripped up. Spateri. Yeah, it looked like he had a hole there for a second, yeah, but, but it I closed think up. It looked like Jake Butters was on the ground and kind of. Nice stuck. job by Butters. Yeah. Let's see. Here's your replay. Let's catch. Here's your quick handoff. And yeah, you, know, you can see Butters was in quickly. Well, Scattles in no hurry. They're just going to grind this. Sure. Third down and seven. Spateri, the tailback. He's got it. Tries to get to the outside. He is brought down. Pick up of a couple of yards. It'll be fourth down and five. Here's your replay. There's your split out. Get to the outside, but it closed up real quick. As you can see, Isaiah Jackson in on the tackle. Seven and a half minutes to go in the game. Running clock now. We're yes. running the clock here up at uh, Foothill College. Due to the lead, they just let it keep going. Give up the middle. A good, strong run up the middle by number Nick 29. Skip Janovic. Stojanovic. Yes, Nick Stojanovic, yep. you're right. Good pronunciation on your part. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good, strong runner. Joey Woods had it for the night, I'm sure. He's, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he did his job. He's home already. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> on the bar lounger. To give to Salcedo. Nothing doing there. He has stopped short. Yeah. It'll be second and goal. Ball at the two yard line. Six and a half minutes to go. Dylan Hoffling, one of your linebackers, a senior, in on the stop. There's your score and time. Yeah, before there was no number in that uh, seven. They, yeah, round. They, just they wouldn't even put anything up there before they scored. Lights were off. It was like there was nobody here. Full house backfield for the Wildcats. Uh-oh. Yep. Throws it out of bounds. Threw it away. Nothing doing. Flag is down. They're going to call him, I believe, for intentional, intentional grounding. Wow. Ground, yeah. Almost looked like he was far enough out to just, but maybe in high school you can't do that. Another look. Well, well yeah, there was simply nothing there. He was being chased big time. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if maybe the running back didn't take the ball from him or so because it did look like a broken play. I don't think they were looking to pass on that. So it was intentional grounding. Lost it down. Good job by the camera crew to get all over that. There you go. Third and two now, is it? Well, it's third and a lot more than lot two more than because two it was third sure. and goal. It's third and goal, goal from the okay. Yeah, the ball's on the 26-yard line. Gosh, they were down that close. Yeah, third and goal from the 26. I stand corrected. Yeah, yeah well, or we sit corrected, but mm -hmm. either way, you're corrected. Give on the outside and nothing doing there. Picked up maybe three or four. Salcedo, another look at it. Yeah, like. Yeah, so picked up about four. Down to about the 21 yard line, it is fourth and goal from the 21. This would where it would be yeah, this a little would have, embarrassing yeah. to give up a touchdown on a fourth and 21. Flags fly. As Mountain was about to stop that play, but it'll be against the Wildcats. See, you got, you know, you got three and a half minutes left. Clock continues to run. Yeah, a little sloppy. Coach doesn't like seeing stuff like keep playing. But well, this uh, is what are you going to do? Yeah. This is where you, just, where you want the clock to run even faster. Do. Yep. So fourth and goal for the 26. Make it a little more difficult. Met and dropped he is Quinn Spiteri. Turnover on downs to Mountain View. First down for Mountain View. Just under three minutes to go. Cheerleaders still cheering. They continue to cheer. Yes, they do. As vociferously as ever. The spirit is there. Avery from the shotgun. We're short a player. Uh, Butters comes in. To give to Butters. <laughs> Butters comes out a little late and says, oh, by the way, you're getting the ball. He gets out over the 30, out close to the 31 yard line. Good pick up there. Second down and five for Mountain View. Two minutes to go in the game. I rather enjoy running clock. Absolutely. Full house backfield. Avery keeps it, spin move. And brought down at the 36 yard line. So first down for Mountain View. Well, you know, at the end of the half, they came out in the third quarter and they drove the ball real well, yeah. Spartans did. Went to the shotgun formation, had some good, quick, short little passes. Showed us a little something there. They just, uh, they got outgunned and outmanned tonight. One minute to go in the game. You're gonna have to work on their special teams. Well, in the De Anza division is the toughest division of the Santa Clara Valley Athletic League. And you got to rebuild and also be in the toughest division. That's just, it's just a, it's a tough road to yes, hope. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Avery just throws it up in the air and it is 
a flag because I believe the lineman caught it. We'll see what the call's all about. Los Gatos has the ball, but everybody quit running. They whistled it. Let's take another look at Let's it see, just yeah. because we, we saw can. him flip it. He, you know, he was getting tackled. And he goes, I'm getting rid of this thing. Yeah, I'm not going to just stand so, here and get there, sacked. There's the old so. flip. And it and came down near. Well, I mean, there was a receiver there. Oh, he's down on gravity, but it looked like it might have been picked off by Los Gatos. And they're going to talk about it. And that did actually bring the clock to a halt. And it was moving so well. 21.4 seconds to go. Penalties declined, and it's Los Gatos' ball. It was an ineligible receiver, but it was intercepted. It is Los Gatos' ball. And now the Wildcats just need to come out and take a knee, and they can end the game. Clock it to actually they won't even have to because they started the clock again and Los Gatos could just stay in the huddle yeah. and let the clock run out. There's your final score. Los Gatos 44, Mountain View 7. We'd like to thank our producer director, Bobby Chastain, our camera crew of Lisa Tesler, Doc Stoxiatis, Jim Twu, Eliza Ranjit. Special thanks to Mountain View High School for allowing us to bring you this telecast tonight. And we'd like to thank all of you for joining us. For Micah Padre, the retired mailman, Terry Ward, I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time.